What's up guys? Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a new update to the procedural crowds add-on that lets you add another kind of crowd to Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so remember that procedural crowds is an add-on designed to help you quickly create crowds in Blender. But we want to focus on the newest one that's just been added, which is a weight paint version of crowd editing. So first things first, you do not need to reinstall the add-on. When you do this, all you have to do is there's going to be a new version of the crowd assets file that you want to reference in Blender. So um, basically what you want to do is under edit preferences, assuming you already have this in here, if you don't, then you just install it, but you install the add-on. Um, and then if you want to update this, all you have to do is it's going to come with a folder that's labeled procedural crowds assets. I think it's going to be, yeah, it's gonna be version 1.3.0. It's just gonna be a zip file. Just unzip that and then in your preferences here, just link back to that assets folder. When you do that, then when you tap the N key on your keyboard, we're gonna to go to procedural crowds. And remember previously it had options for all of these crowd types, but in this case, we've got this new version, which is weight paint. Okay, so one thing that's gonna be important when you do this, when you add this new weight paint mode, is you wanna make sure that you have enough geometry in here that you actually have points to paint. And so we'll take a look at that in a second but what I've got here is I've just got a subdivided surface. And what I wanna do is I wanna add a weight painted crowd to this surface. Well, notice how when I do that, first off, nothing happened, right? And the reason why is because we haven't actually painted any weights in here. And so with the weight paint mode, notice what it's doing is it's looking for a vertex group called group. And so what we need to do in order to add that is we need to go down into our object data properties and add a vertex group called group. You could rename this if you wanted to as well, um, but for now we'll just kind of do that. So now this is going to reference your vertex group for the object that you apply this to. But now you can jump over into weight paint mode and when you do that, remember that you have the ability to apply a weight to this surface, right? And you can set it to zero, which is going to be no weight. You can set it to one or you can set it somewhere in between. You can also adjust the radius either by clicking and dragging this or by using the left and right brackets. But say I was to click in here and apply a weight to this surface, Notice what that's doing is that's bringing these people models in wherever I have painted like this. So you can use this in order to paint in the location of the people models that you want. Now, you can adjust things like the amount of personal space, right? So if you adjust this up and down, that's gonna adjust your density, but you can also set different areas with different weights. So if I was to set this weight to like 0.5 and then paint it in a little bit, so maybe in the middle right here, notice how this is going to be less dense than this area right here because this has a weight of one. If I was to bring it down even more, maybe to like 0 0.07, notice how when I paint this in, it's not putting nearly as many people in here as when you have a heavy weight in here like this. So you can use this weight painting to dictate exactly where and how many people um, are located in your model like this. So notice how I can paint all of these in. And then when I'm done painting my weights, I can go back into object mode. And so within object mode, I do still have options in the uh, procedural crowd settings to set like the density of people like this, as well as things like the position seed. So notice how it's randomizing the location of the people within those groups that I've painted. You can also adjust the model seed, which is basically just going to adjust or randomize the models that are be being placed in here. Now you ha also have options to either set the people orientation by setting the rotation right here, as well as randomizing that orientation if you wanna set random directions that the people are facing. Um, alternatively, and I'm gonna set these back to zero, you can also set a point of interest. So if I wanted these models to face Bonnie, for example, and we'll go into a top-down view mode so you can kind of see it, notice how all of those models are turning and facing wherever Bonnie is. So if I move this model around, Notice how Bonnie is the center of attention of all of the models that are being brought in here. Now, if you don't want that to be 100% uniform, you can add a little bit of randomized orientation in here um, if you wanna do that as well. But you can also set the scale of these models 
and the randomization of the scale in here as well. And so let's say, just really quick, just so you understand the weight painting, let's say I was to add a simple plane right here. I'm gonna scale it up like this. We'll go ahead and apply a rotation and scale, but let's say I was to try to add that weight painted crowd to this object. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go into weight paint mode. I need to add a vertex group called group, but then if I paint it, right, the only place that people can show up is around the corners because this only has four corners in here, right? So that's not really what we want. But if we were to come in here, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna paint this back out so that the weight is back to zero. And so we'll go ahead and set our weight all the way back to zero. But say if I was to go into edit mode, right? Take this object, subdivide it like this. Suddenly I have a lot more geometric detail in here that I can weight paint on. So now if I go back into weight paint mode and I add weight to some of these areas, notice how now I can paint those vertex points. So you need to make sure you have enough geometric detail in here that you have vertex points to paint on in order for this to work. And so remember this does come in addition to the other um, audience types that are already in procedural crowds. Um, this is a free ad for anyone that's already purchased it, but you still get kind of the regular audience, right? As well as like the follow curve, the march. So this is also going to have like the stadium mode where you can add a crowd to a stadium. You can set the point of interest, right? This like this in order to quickly add crowds and group of, groups of people like this. So um, this is a great addition to an already great add-on in my opinion. Um, so definitely make sure and check it out if you're doing anything with crowds. All right, so I'll link to procedural crowds in the notes down below. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about this add-on in general, as well as this new feature. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.